Welcome back friends. Welcome back friends. This is Jean Allen School and here we learn about the basic of genetic engineering, molecular biology and microbiology or any other biological subject. Today our topic is DNA fingerprinting. We have all have heard about the name of DNA fingerprinting but today we will discuss what is DNA fingerprinting and how DNA fingerprinting works and what is the applications of DNA fingerprinting. DNA fingerprinting is a technique used to identify individuals. That means by the DNA materials we can identify an individual by the characteristics of the DNA. That was first invented in 1984 by Sir Alice Jeffries. DNA fingerprinting is produced by detecting the mini satellites from the genome and this mini satellite genome create a unique pattern and this pattern forms a band that is different from individuals and by this band pattern we can identify an individual or detect an individual. So that's all about and here a topic found that the mini satellite. Mini satellites is the small repetitive DNA, DNA base pair that is found in eukaryotic genome. Next we will learn. Here you see that there is fingerprinting and here you see that there is, there is a band and this band will um, this band will detect the individual by finding the similarities among the bands these bands are similarities these are the same individual let's go to the further that is the mechanism process of dna fingerprinting dna fingerprinting maintains some steps some basic steps the steps is that first that the sample are collected normally the blood sample are collected another sample can be happened any type of tissue cell that can be happened from an individual then the next step is the sample is further in, taken to the laboratory and DNA is extracted from the cell. Here you see that that is the DNA and next step is DNA is cut down. We know that DNA is cut by restriction enzyme. So DNA is cut by restriction enzyme. When the DNA is cut down, this DNA is turned to a gel electroporesis. We know that in the gel electroporesis, the DNA fragments are separated and create the band in the gel electrophoresis forensis machine when the band are found this band are taken and the dna band pattern in the gel is transferred to a nylon membrane we know that in the southern voting we use the nylon membrane and this band are taken to the nylon membrane and the radioactive DNA probe is prepared. The radioactive DNA probe are those type of probes that are alternatives to the band sequence of this gel electroporesis or the in the nylon membrane. The radioactive DNA probe then bind to the specific DNA sequence on this membrane. The, this probe are alternative to this type of band. I repeat. This probe are alternative probes of this nylon band. So the alternative probes are bind with their progressive bonds or their specific binds and then the DNA probe is washed off. When DNA is washed off, the probes that are bind with each other that are remain on the the that are remained on the pattern and other other probe or other DNA bands that are not attached with the DNA probe or radioactive DNA probes are washed off. That means only at this stage the radioactive probe is bound to the DNA pattern on the membrane. Only the bounded patterns are found in the radioactive probe materials. Then this probe is transferred to the X-ray film. In the X-ray film is found that this band are clearly distinguish this this band are clearly visible to us by this x-ray plate when this band is attached to the x-ray film then the perfect band of the individuals are come through our eye and we can easily find the 
perfect band that is the perfect band that is the final band of d and the basal that is all about first the sample are collected then dna extracted then dna is cut it and then that is transferred to gel electrophoresis and then that is attached to nylon membrane and the dna probe or radioactive probe are attached the specific probes are binded with each other and the 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 bands or the probe that are not binded that are washed off only the binded patterns are found here then these patterns are transferred to the extra film and we know that in the extra film we can get the specific or the perfect view of the band that is the perfect or the final view of the band and here we can we can question that what is the dna fingerprinting now now this band are taken in the next view you see that there is a crime scene we know that we found a sample of dna from a crime scene place this this dna are found to the criminal case or the forensic department has found the band and we have sus three suspect of this individual we don't know who has done the crime but we have found the dna sample from this crime scene and then from the crime scene we get this pattern now we have three suspect and now we have what we have to do we will make the proper band of this three suspects when we make the proper band of the three suspect by DNA fingerprinting materials, that which suspect or which individual's DNA band will match with the crime scene DNA band. That means that is the crime scene DNA band, and the band which are similar or which are fully matched. Sorry, not similar, which are fully matched with the crime scene. Then this suspect will be the criminal. If I can use that in example like a person is killed and we found a blood sample beside the dead body and we can think that the person or the killer has dropped the blood here do you we can make the band of this blood and we have some suspect in the criminal case we have three suspect or five suspect or ten suspect we will make the band of this suspect and we will match the suspect band with the crime scene found base and which band are matched with each other then the person which have matched with the crime scene this man will be the criminal so by this material we can easily find a criminal there is few other application that is paternity or maternity case sometimes we found that a child are found in hospital and two mother or two father are saying that the child is there and how can you distinguish the child from which parents so in this case the dna fingerprinting are used to find the proper parent or find the proper mother or father and the criminal case i have discussed before that is in the criminal case we can catch a criminal by this fingerprinting material and that is identify individual identifying the individuals mean sometimes in accident the body are burned or the body are destroyed or the the face are not capable to identify the person or a father cannot identify his his son or his daughter or a daughter or son cannot identify his father in an any accidental case for this accidental case we can use the dna fingerprinting material and identify the perfect individual that is messed with the band that is all about dna fingerprinting i hope everybody have understood about the uh, have understood about the understood about the dna fingerprinting materials and that's all about thanks for watching my video if you like the video subscribe to my channel share it and comment if you want to know anything about topic and what topic you want to know i will make the video for you that's all about today thanks everyone